Hello, welcome to Moonshine Tech's coverage of the Eurogamer Expo. Uh, let's, take, let's have a tour, let's have a look around at what's going on today. Now you can see Bayonetta here. Something I think is hyper-violent. Not too good. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, that's Bayonetta. That's definitely Bayonetta. If we move on here to more Bayonetta and Uncharted 2. We'll play so Uncharted 2. Really out, yeah, and it's brilliant. It's fantastic. So, let's carry on. Mag being shown here. It's massive and it's an action game. I wonder what they call it. Well, moving on. There's a little shop there. A little shop, HMV, sponsorship, it's good. I'm technically not allowed to film in Assassin's Creed. Well, I don't think we can. Uh, there's Assassin's Creed 2, trust us. We'll, we'll try and sneak some coverage of it. Um, back across the hall, the midsection. Not a lot going on here. NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision, we had a look at that earlier. Uh, we've got Battlefield over here. Bad Company 2, but Bad Company 1 was good. Bad Company 2. We got some fairy tale fights. Me and Jacob were looking at this earlier. Didn't get it. Red Steel 2. Better than the first Red Steel, apparently, according to a guy we interviewed. So, uh, what did you think of uh, the game? Um, I thought it was really good, actually. Uh, to start with, it it's a bit it's very sensitive, so it takes you a while right. to get used to the. Did uh, you uh, did you have the honour of playing a Red Steel one? No, I didn't. I haven't played Red Steel 1 at all. So it may well be exactly the same with the yeah. sensitivity. Would you say that the Motion Plus uh, added to the, the um, swords? Or? From what I play, I don't actually own a Wii, but from mm -hmm. what I play with the Wii, I say yeah, it definitely does. Okay. I mean, the ability, it's a lot more sensitive moving uh, in all three, 360 degrees rather than just across. And about and about the, uh, the turning, of course, the Wii doesn't have a second stick, so how were you finding that? Was that simple enough? Uh, yeah, I thought it was all right. I mean, the, the way they... Um, use both the nunchuck and the Wii, I thought it was quite good, so yeah. Okay, cool, thanks. A little earlier. And good, good. <laughs> um, moving on. Super Mario Brothers We perhaps one of the more popular attractions today. We had a, we had a, look, we had a look at it earlier, didn't we? Yeah. We had a play. I'm not really getting close, but it's just a tour, so... Yeah. Okay. Um, everyone's enjoying their Mario. Everyone. Um, some people enjoying their Need for Speed Shift. Now, this game's been out a while now. Well, not a while. It's been out a few weeks. Uh, it looks fantastic. Are you, are you guys enjoying your Need for Speed Shift? <laughs> Moving on to Halo 3 ODST. Everyone knows about this game now. Let's move on. <laughs> Avatar in 3D. We had a look at this earlier. And then we have the glitz and glam of the arcade. I'm not going to play Street Fighter 4, I will embarrass myself. Street Fighter 4. Um, moving to where we can't film.
and we're now backtracking. So yeah, there you go. that's that's the main show floor. Yeah. You're right. We're just working our way around um, around the place. We've missed a couple of things apparently, like Mass Effect 2 and uh, Bayonetta, and the entirety of the basement. So we're gonna go find that now. Could be good. Um, tell you what, let's find Mass Effect 2, shall we? Let's go. Lots of people want to see that. Just as we're walking through, you can see Star Trek Online is in the place we expected to see Mass Effect 2. Um, maybe it's around the other side? Maybe. There's Counter Strike Source, which is strange since that was out many years ago. <laughs> um, Lost Planet 2, Ratchet and Clank, Crack in Time. No, no okay. mass effects, okay. Okay, so we're just entering the basement. It's quite dark and creepy down here. It's time to continue our investigation. What is that? This guy here, what's your name? Alex. Hi Alex, uh, you were playing Left 4 Dead 2. I was, what yeah. Think? It's pretty good, yeah. Did you play the first? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, quite a lot. Right, <laughs> uh, similarities, different, do you think? Yeah, it's very is similar. Is it different enough that it's only a year since uh, the first one came out? Yeah, yeah, I don't know what mode this is, but it's not the campaign mode, it's just the right, death just the death mode. Yeah. I see. Any of the new infected did you, did you encounter any of them? Yeah, there's a couple of new ones. One, uh, what was it, the jockey. Jockey. Jumps on top of your head and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty good. A lot more comical this time around, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So overall, overall good? Yeah. Okay. yeah it's, it's very similar to the first one, but I think yeah. they're just like, you know, even it out a bit. An update, uh, you know, extra, extra improvements, some new yeah. game modes, so yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, yeah. Good. And that's Avatar. Let's go. So this is the end of the uh, New Eurogamer 2009 Expo, uh, it's 20 to 8, they've given us sort of a 10 minute warning time, so we're going to head back to the uh, head back to the tube station. Uh, you can see it's quite empty down now, but uh, there's still lots of people playing on, I'm sure they're struggling to get rid of a few. It's been a, it's been a pretty good day.